Sailor, Paimon, great timing. We got a lot of letters in the mailbox, and I just finished sorting them into four groups. Nice work! So, what are the answers to the four riddles then? Uh, you're really smart, Paimon. I bet you can figure it all out in no time. Or, let's all share our thoughts on what we think the answers might be. Okay, Paimon will do the honors. Ahem. We have with us here the flower, the guide, the legend, and Timaeus. Huh? Why did you only say Timaeus's name? You should say my name, too. We also have Klee. That's me! <laughs> With Klee here, this all somehow feels like we're getting ready for a field trip. Actually, I'm still feeling a little nervous. Me too. But weren't you all fired up just a moment ago? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Actually, I'm a little worried, too. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I know what you're feeling. Saying anything becomes so much harder when there are so many people watching. Well, does anyone know the exact location of where we're headed, or should I do a reading on my scry glass? Hmm. According to the prophecy, once we've figured out the answer, we should test it at the Lantern of Utmost Joy. Wait, but where is this lantern? This is it! We're off to find the sacred location of the Lantern of Utmost Joy! Aww, I don't see any lanterns here. Hmm, now that I think about it, the prophecy didn't say anything about what the Lantern of Utmost Joy actually looks like, right? Maybe we've overlooked something? Paimon's reading too! Uh... Huh? It says to look up! Place the squirrel on the back of the pointy-eared cat, and a pious puppy will open the doors to show you the way. Huh. Paimon read the whole thing out loud, but nothing's happening! <gasps> look! Look! The wind is blowing! What a strong wind current. Uh, let's write it up and see where it leads us. Huh? W we'll have to fly up there? Uh, can someone carry me with them? Here. How did this little island get up here in the sky? Did somebody make it? Just to be safe. I've been jotting down our entire route here. This way, no one will get lost. Oh, good thinking, Kale! Huh, who would have thought we'd find this kind of table here? Weird. It's almost as if someone was holding a tea party. I never would have guessed that such a place could exist. Right above Mondstadt, too. <gasps> Look at the pretty lantern on the table. There's even a chair for each side of the lantern, too. There seems to be something on the back of this chair. Let me have a closer look. Take your seat, present your answers, and you shall reach enlightenment. Well, as far as instructions go, I guess that's simple enough. So we just need to do as it says, right? Wait a second. Huh? What is it, Albedo? We'd better make sure this place is safe before taking our seats. Everyone, please stay clear for a moment. How is everything, Albedo? Hmm... Everything seems to be fine. I didn't find any traps or suspicious mechanisms. While Albedo was checking just now, I gave my scryglass a spin, hoping to find some information. But there's a strange aura to this place. It's almost as if someone has been staring at me as soon as we stepped foot in here. But if nothing here has actually been physically tampered with, then... No. Could that person be... 
<laughs> Come on, join us, Mona. Oh, all right. Okay, then I'll answer the first question. If someone were to ask me to find a flower that is not of this world... You can do it, Sucrose! Then I would fetch a tetratanic sweet flower. All right, I'm up next. My part of the prophecy is to find a guide who will never get lost. Kali, I hope you found your answer. <sighs> My answer is that I will be that guide. For a long time, I have been guided by others. It's taken me a while, but I finally made it to where I am today. All right. It's up to me to answer the third part. I, I, I'll submit myself as one who would never lie. Although I've never really had any other virtues or talents, I'm confident that I've always been an honest person. And last but not least, I will answer the final part of the prophecy. There's no tale more befitting the title of A Legend That Never Ends than Our Fates as Human Beings. Wait! The lantern just lit up! Whoa! All four sides of the lantern are glowing! Ah, uh, and to think. I never expected you to actually find this place. What? There's someone else here? We meet again, Traveler. Hey! You're that outlander we met the other day at Good Hunter! It's all thanks to you that I was able to find this place. Good thing that you were too preoccupied with the prophecy to notice someone tailing you from the shadows. Oh, is that so? Then, why do I spy yet another person following in your shadow? Wait, really? <sighs> There's no need for pleasantries. You should know I'm here for you. Is it just because I'm a visitor from abroad? I was there when you snuck your way into Marjorie's place. Huh. So you had your eyes on me even then, huh? That was two whole weeks ago, you know. It's hard not to notice you when I'm on duty every day. All right. In that case, I'll admit it. I was the person who slipped this prophecy into the storybook. Huh? But why? Then, does that mean this wasn't a real prophecy after all? Don't worry. Even though you probably have plenty of reservations about me, you can be sure that the prophecy is genuine. In fact, many of you here today may have heard the code name of the one who left the prophecy to me. She hailed from an ancient assembly of powerful women, each of whom used a single letter to signify themselves. Who would have guessed? It seems that power was indeed left behind by the old hag after all. Huh. Why did this little thing just light up? How strange. Hello? On the other side of the lantern. Can you hear me over there? Mom? Hmm? Oh, I hear many youthful voices. Madam, I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Since we've last gathered, Jay's successor has already become so reckless and bold. Unbelievable. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you talking just like the old hag? <sighs> old hag? Who would dare say that? Is that Mona? Who are you? Who dares imitate my master? <clears throat> hmm. And what of imitation and mimicry? It has always been a fool's errand to mimic and learn from humanity. Aunt Alice, I'm here too. Mom, why are you trying to talk like other people? Ah, uh, <laughs> so I see everyone's here. Well then, my warmest greetings, everyone. Miss Alice, why would you... Oh, Miss Alice, would it be all right to leave the explanation of that to you? <laughs> well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating the lantern. Now then, let me tell you a long and ancient story. Ever heard of the Hexen Circle? 
As the spooky name suggests, it's a secret society. Once upon a time, it even challenged the animal Archon himself. But he replied, let us make music, not war, and resolve our conflicts through song. From then on, the mages would only ever convene in the woods, in the skies, or on the edges of cliffs. At these tea parties, they discussed their stories and secrets and resolved their differences, as the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge never to fight amongst themselves. Yesterday, I snuffed out the life of my beloved. He had grown old and was extremely sick. He loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. I'm raising a son. Of all the children I had, he's the only one left. <laughs> but I suppose that still makes me a mother. My life. It sounds like you've still got something on your mind. Why don't you tell us? We're all happy to listen. <sighs> it's nothing, really. It's just... Well, Alice's story was really interesting and romantic. I won't argue about that. But still, the whole thing wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Of course, I didn't actually expect the supreme blessing to be real, but... <sighs> Miss Ying R? Oh, so that's Miss Ying R? I've never met her before. Yep, that's her. And she actually came all the way to Mondstadt. I, I am so sorry, Miss Yingar, but, but how did you... I mean... <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? I, uh, of course I am. I'm so happy that uh, I don't, uh... Sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I was ready to give you a harsh scolding, but now that I've seen you like this... I suppose I could let you off the hook this time. You said you couldn't come to pick me up because of a very important matter, right? Well then, of course I had to come and find you instead. I am so glad to see Timaeus find his happiness. I have to say, I'm even more envious of you, Sucrose. You can be happy just to see others happy. And you gave me so much help without any expectations in return. Even though you said that we're very much alike, I still feel like you have a much bigger heart than I do. But if you say that, then I'd say I'm also nowhere near as brave or tenacious as you. I guess we have the same amount of positive qualities. They're just spread over different parts of our personalities. I've never visited Sumeru, or made many friends from outside of Mondstadt. I'm happy just to have met and become your friend. Kale, please take these notes with you. I've heard that you've been working hard on your studies, so I've prepared some study materials for you at Sucrose's request. Feel free to look through them whenever you can find the time. Mondstadt's doors will always remain open to you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, I... I don't know what to say. I... I'm just really happy. Oh, it looks like you found a new pen pal. Master Tenari! Saito! If your friendship was forged in a test tube, does that make you test friends forever? That's it. I think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. All that matters is that I've enjoyed Mondstadt immensely. The dragon here possesses a majestic form. W wait I've got something to give you, too. Huh? Kali has a gift for us? Yeah, I figured I should follow local Mondstadt customs and prepared a few small things themed after the Windbloom Festival. I made these bookmarks from Samaru Roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. During Windbloom, Mondsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. 
You three are family to me. But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. Well, in this case, we can consider ourselves as regular siblings. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. Oh, and here are some Padisara seeds as well. These are for the Traveler, Paimon, and everyone else from Mondstadt. Mm-hmm, one of them. Both Potty Sours and Samara Roses are my wind blooms. Although they're not native to Mondstadt, they are the flowers that can best express my feelings. I want to give them to the people I feel thankful for. To those who... I wish to accompany as we greet more seasons and future wind blooms together. The real blessing in life is when you are surrounded by people who you'd miss day and night and who you'd want to see even if that meant crossing mountains and oceans to do so. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs>